Austin Paul, as you guys can tell by the title above. And this is over the past couple weeks, I guess. I'm moving back to school, unfortunately, in less than a week. So I had to start actually getting stuff that I'll need for school. So, um, yeah. And then some of this is just kind of stuff that I bought for fun because, you know, you know how that goes. So, the first place I went was the outlets, actually. And I went to Forever 21 there. And no, they're not cheaper there, but they just happen to have one in the outlet mall. Um, so, the first piece that I got... I actually got like this bright orangey coral like button shirt that's kind of like the chiffonish kind of uh, fabric but it was just like not right with my skin tone like I looked just not not good so I returned it and instead I got this shirt and it's kind of like a thin sweatery material I don't really know um, and it's dark navy and it has some light blue threading in it as well so it's kind of a little bit more textured than just a straight one colored thing and then it's cropped a little bit and it's longer in the back. So it's not too short, but it's like, I like that it's a little bit higher because if I wear a belt with it, then it'll actually show. So I really, really like that about this. And then it's got these loose, long sleeves, which actually are a little bit baggy on me, which I kind of like because it's very, like, cozy and relaxed. <laughs> cozy. I don't know how that means cozy, but now it does. Okay, moving on. I got this top. Which, okay, I've been looking for one of these for like a year and a half. Now this, whoa. <laughs> um, I think this was in style last season, last fall and winter, or maybe it was last, last. But I don't know, I've always wanted one of these and I was just too late in ordering one. I, I waited too long and I was sad. It's the shoulder embellishment. I love this. Like, love this. Like, I, this is my favorite. This is my favorite piece ever and I tried it on. And I just love it. I, I seriously, I'm obsessed with this. And it's like casual enough that, I mean, it's a sweatshirt, you know? Very casual, but then you add these and it just adds so much more, I don't know, trendiness or just like more niceness. <laughs> that didn't make sense either. But yeah, I just, I love this. Love this. I'm so excited. Okay. Anyway, and the last thing I got from Forever 21 was a necklace. And I've actually worn this in a video already. Um, it was in my, my my weird tag, my 15 weird facts tag, and it's this necklace, and I think it looks way more expensive than Forever 21, don't you guys think? Kind of, it's like a nice, substantial feeling piece, granted it could break on me tomorrow, but I mean, it feels nice, and it has like these big links, and then these smaller ones, and it has these chains, it's just very classy, yet edgy at the same time, I could be making that up, because, you know, so yeah, um, I saw that piece on the website recently in their new arrivals, which I, I have to admit that I go on Forever 21 site like every day, which is a little bit unhealthy, but yeah. So if you want to get that necklace, it's on there now, so check it out. Okay, the next place that was Ulta, I actually had to buy my friend a birthday present, and I ended up getting her the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin, which is my favorite, and um, um, an Orly Polish, like one of the $10 really expensive ones that are super nice. So I got her one of those and I actually got myself one. I got her the really pretty blue turquoise goldy one. That one's gorgeous. But I got myself, because I had to buy myself stuff, because I'm crazy space cadet, which I hope this is in focus, because if you guys can see that duochrome, oh my goodness gracious. This is actually an old collection, if I'm not mistaken. But they had this display out there, and I was just like, heck yes, I'm going to buy one. So... Yeah, this is so pretty. It's purple, but it has the gold and green duochrome. It's so pretty. Um, I actually did a blog post on this already, and I honestly wouldn't put a top coat on this because I put a top coat on mine, and it just kind of looked like it washed out the duochrome shimmeriness a little bit, so I was like, that's kind of bizarre, but yeah. So, okay, <laughs> moving on. The next polish I got is another kind of golden shimmery one is it's my year i think this is part of the some pageant miss america no M miss universe i think um it's called it's my year if i didn't say that right i think i already did um and it's purple with this crazy gold shimmer to it it's like so pretty so it's kind of a little bit sheer i think it would look really pretty over like a opaque purple but um it's nice on its own. I wore it on my toes. Took two coats and it was pretty nice. So I like that one too. Um, and then, so I actually got, I returned a couple things. So I got Revlon's something beige, something nude. It was like a nude polish and it was just too dark for me. So I decided to get OPI's Samoan Sand. 
And I'm hoping this will work out more for my skin tone. What do you guys think? I think so. I haven't used it yet, so I'm not sure, but I'm hoping it'll work out because um, the Revlon one didn't look so good on me. Okay. Then I got a clearance polish. I I'm so sucked in by clearance stuff. Like It's just like, <laughs> but it's so cheap. So this was $2. It's the Ulta brand, and it's every freaking brand in the world is coming out with a polish like this. I think Deborah Lippman was the one who started it. Darn you, Deborah Lippman. It's just like the crazy multicolored glitter polishes um, that look good over like basically every color, particularly black. And this one has like small and large glitters, so I think that's kind of cool. And yeah. All right, so that's it for Ulta, but I actually got two more nail polishes at Rite Aid from the Julie G collection by Jessie's Girl, and I did a blog post about this already. It's actually my latest post, I think. And then I did a, um, I tweeted a picture of it too, on my nails, but oh my god, so yeah, obviously I'm wearing them right now, and I tried to do this whole weird color blocking thing, and I think it looks kind of cool, but I don't really know. So, I love these colors, and this one in particular is my favorite color ever. This literally might be my favorite color ever, because I just love it. At least it's my favorite toe color. It looks great on my toes. I don't even know why. I think it's weird to, to declare a polish a great perfect toe color, but this is called Girls Night Out. It's just like this perfect creamy mid-tone blue. It's just, it's gorgeous. So yeah, I love that color. And this is Mermaid's Lagoon. And this looks like a cream polish, but it actually has like a slight subtle gold sheen to it. And if you check out my blog post, I include a picture that kind of shows the sheen better. I don't know if you're able to tell on camera, but yeah. So, that's, that's what I got going on. So, yeah, I'm liking it. Okay, that's it for nail polish. I also went to CVS while I was out on vacation. And I don't know, I feel like I was supposed to show you guys these earlier, but I just didn't. I don't know. Um, so Wet n came out with these lip balms, and they're CVS exclusive, I think. I think I read that on a blog, and the swatches show that they actually have some tint to them, which is kind of cool, but I actually got all four of them, because where I live here, they're not, they're sold out in like every CVS, and when I went there, they had all of them, so I was just like, you know what, I'm going to snatch them up, so, yeah. This one is cherry, this one is raspberry. Um, this one is strawberry, and unfortunately I got one that was like already open, like that's so misleading. <laughs> but that's kind of gross too, but whatever, I'll figure it out. This is strawberry, if I didn't say that already. This one smells really good. And then this is watermelon, and it's green, and it will tint your lips a little bit green, which I find kind of odd, but I don't know. They're fun. So they remind me of like lip smackers, um, the giant lip balm thing, so yeah. Okay, um... I'm overwhelmed here. Next thing, okay, so I went to Claire's at the outlet, and I, I don't really buy anything from Claire's usually, but I actually bought a jewelry holder stand, not stand, holder hanger thing. It's actually meant mostly for earrings and maybe some rings, but it looks like this, and it was on clearance, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy it. And so it looks like this, and it has, as you can see, all the holes back here for the earrings, and it has these hangers right here. I'll probably hang like... I don't know, like some light necklaces or bracelets off there maybe. And then there's like this little shelf kind of thing that I could put rings and stuff. So I thought that was really good for like three bucks. I think that's how much it was. Yeah, it was like super cheap. So um, yeah. So the next place I went was Bath and Body Works. And I should probably get the stuff before I start talking about it. Um, I need to get more room scent kind of stuff because I am moving back to school and that was my phone and yeah. So I have talked about the scent bug several times before. It's that little pod that has a fan in it if you haven't heard of it before. Um, it has a fan and you put little scent oil on a pad and then it blows the scent around the room. It scents the room like that. <laughs> Just like that. So I got one new scent oil and it's in some mores. And this smells really, really good. I don't really care for like super sweet scents, but I got a lot of super sweet scents, so I have to like them now. I actually decided to go with the Wallflower um, deal instead of getting a bunch of scent oils, just because, I don't know. I actually really don't know why I did. I just kind of wanted to get the owl. And honestly, I liked the fox better because the fox was really cute, but if you guys see my dorm room tour, I'm using the same bedding this year and um, 
it's purple based, so he has purple eyes. I think I'm going to name him something. He looks like an Isaac. Sounds like an Isaac. I think, honestly, I think I just said that because I said eyes. <laughs> Isaac. Okay, so I got five little bulbs for my new wall owl. <laughs> and I got two of the leaves scent because I love, love this scent. When everyone raves about this scent for a good reason. It smells just like Christmas and fall to me. Like, it's seriously, it's just what it smells like. So, if you want a better scent description, you should go on the Bath & Body Works website because they do have, like, the top notes and stuff all listed and stuff. So this is S'mores, which again is the same as the scent oil. I really hope I actually like this scent because if I don't, I have, like, more scent oils and what am I going to do with that so yeah this one is spiced cider and smells just like it sounds and then this one is cinnamon sugar donut and I was actually planning on getting frosted cupcake or homemade cookies or something like that but this one I was just like I've never heard of this one before and it smelled pretty good so you know I like donuts Alright, and then the last thing I had a coupon for a free mini candle, and they have a hot chocolate candle! I did not know that! And it smells really good, okay? It doesn't really smell like hot chocolate, it smells more like a Tootsie Roll. Whenever I smell artificially scented chocolate things, they automatically smell like a Tootsie Roll to me. But it smells really good. It actually has a scent description on this one. The perfect blend of milk chocolate, steamed milk, and sweet marshmallow fluff. So yeah exactly what it smells like and it smells really good. I really wish they made like a scent oil or a scent um, wallflower bulb like this but they don't so but I love it. The last place I went was Target and that's just not really that exciting but I've come to find um, even as I'm like older in college it's still fun to get school supplies because especially cute ones that are going to make me more motivated to actually pay attention in class so I got two notebooks which I have to get another one but they were like way out of stock like all the little children just took everything so I got this one which is really pretty and I got this one which is a little bit more dark and earthy tony but that's alright I like that one too. And then I got two conditioner products. So I got a new Herbal Essences. I've tried like every scent of this, I swear. This one is the Touchably Smooth Smoothing Conditioner. Because I don't know if you guys can tell, but my hair is a little bit frizzy. I don't know. I think it's more noticeable now that I got my hair cut. I don't know why. Like, that sucks. It should be the opposite, right? But, yeah. So I got all these baby hairs. I think the middle part's not, not helping that at all. But hopefully that conditioner will help that out a little bit. And then I got another 3 Minute Miracle. My other one is like in its last days. Like literally like I have like half a squirt left maybe. That's really a suggestive hand motion. I'm not going to do that anymore. Awkward. Okay, so yeah. If you guys can get this, I would definitely get it at either Target or Walmart. Granted, I don't shop at Walmart. I'm just assuming they have it at Walmart. But this is only like $3 there. And at like a drugstore, it's kind of more like 5 or $6. So it's like half the price at Target. So yeah. Alright, um, that is it uh, for this haul, I think. I really hope I didn't forget anything. Oh, I did forget something! <laughs> the CCO! I did forget, my bad. So it's a CCO, sorry. Um, I got two things that really aren't that exciting, but I'll show you guys anyway. Um, getting distracted. So I actually got a backup of Warming Charm, which is my favorite lid color ever. I talk about this all the time. It's a super pretty golden tan color. And then I got a new Tender Tone. Every time I go to a CCO that has Tender Tones, I have to buy one because I'm just like, they're going to disappear soon, so I have to get one. And this one is in Pucker. It's kind of like a shimmery, reddish color, I guess. Gesh, I guess. So yeah, now that's it, I think. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. I'm good. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, and my next video will probably actually be in my apartment, so that's kind of exciting. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and end of summer if you guys love summer, and if you don't, <laughs> awesome. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye!